Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Welcome back to Goblins of Conquest. So, uh... So sadly, it's just out of reach for the Paladin, so it won't be the first one that the Paladin will swing on. But it is within range of the Rogue. You the Ranger? I mean, the as, Ranger. As well as the Ranger. <laughs> the Rogue Ranger. Yes. As opposed to the Ranger Rogue. But the Rogue's going to be the second Or the Ranger one. Rick. Because she has faith in when she saw you chant on your arrow that you would make it explode regardless. Uh, that is a 16. Damn. I got plus 8 because I'm an archer. Yes. Your arrow flies out and hits it. Now, now, what happens when that uh, magically enchants? It's uh, it, it has it, it, it's actually converted to force damage. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a... Are you putting a different number for everyone? Kind of. She's okay. trying. That seems it seemed like what you were doing. So I just figured I'd clarify. There are just you have to yeah. designate. Uh, uh, yeah. So, so, so yeah, I, I always forget. It's basically kind of like your anime Sonic Boom, kind of glowy as if. Going, going through, through I was going to say, here, switch this with the Grace D6 as your number two. Because I need a D6 for okay. <laughs> uh, That's nine plus four, five, what? Thirteen. Thirteen points of damage. Is your arrow, like, blasts into its chest and, like, chunks of muck hit the bugbear in the face. But it's still... So he feels right in there. <laughs> and it's just, and it's disgusting because it's until like its mouth, more of the stuff's just coming out that it's been soaking in. And... Totally annoyed with you. Yeah. <laughs> How dare and you? then, then the second one comes out, which comes out right there, adjacent to our paladin. So our paladin, you get to take your swing, and the rogue gets to back you up. Right. No, put Wait, that this back. one was... Yeah. Back. Yeah. Well, like, like, yeah, These yeah. are the ones that are out. This is so you can tell? Oh. As all of a sudden, you were looking at the bugbear, and you were ready to defend the bugbear, and it's just like in every zombie movie ever, of you're doing this, and you're looking at danger, and then all of a sudden, clever girl. Because it literally just comes right out of the wall at you. The one you didn't see coming. And you, like, backhand, and you, like, cut the mud and some roots and some bits of hair that you thought was the head and then you see the Groot head fall back and it's a zombie head of an elf. <laughs> and uh, Ro, you, you taking your shot? You are going to shoot the Is second, that the one? second one? Yeah. Then yes. She has to do her song of killing. 16. 16 will hit easily hit. So what you got for damage on number four? There's an ally adjacent? Yep. There is an ally adjacent, so you can add your roguey roguiness. 
Ah, so even, so even the air seat, the AC got quiet on you. Oh yeah, it's fine. Thank you, though. Thirteen points of damage as you fire your arrow naturally with skill into its head and it just goes and then it kind of makes this one eye wobbly. <laughs> I hate when that happens. But it is still on its feet. This is okay. this is gonna be dangerous. Alright, so let's let's get things going. So it's pretty much costing them all of their movement just to get out of the muck. No, they're in now. <laughs> Can't you do something about this? It's not my turn. <laughs> well, thanks for can you imagine in, like, if you were your characters actually in this situation and you're like can't you do can't something you... I'm sorry I have to wait my turn that wasn't character <laughs> so since Dan is out of the room we're going to go with this guy first he's got advantage too doesn't he Ooh. hey the 8 was his best of two rolls will an 11 hit you Negative. Okay, so his buddy over here is going to do his thing. Ooh, will an 18 hit you? Uh, just barely. That's good, because he rolled a 3 in the other one. So, for, for number 5 here. 2 points of damage as he's like slamming his, his fists into you. So, this guy. Apparently these must be small creatures since they're sharing a square. <laughs> Number seven is going to attack you. They're dead. They take a plus space. <laughs> Ooh, will a nasty 22 hit you? Yes. For four points of damage. Okay. The advantage is coming in handy. Mm -hmm. You have a healing potion, right? Number four there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't think I need to roll again. Will a dirty 22 hit you? Yes. Two 19s. It's, For it's, six points of damage. And then this guy, who takes to four and seven, have advantage. I was hoping for another 19. Will a 12 hit you? Negative. Good, because I rolled a six for damage. You wouldn't want to hit with that. Okay, so... As we knock him down. So, we're gonna... Dan was just getting a drink, right? No, he's out into his car getting ibuprofen. Oh, is that what he's getting? So he's got an AC of 19 since he left his character sheet out. First is gonna be <laughs> this guy. No combat advantage. Ooh, 19. So, so we'll write him a little love note here of how much damage he's taking. So, four points. It's not a good sign, the first one hits. So this guy that does not have combat advantage. Ooh, another 19. Somebody take that dice away from him. I know, right? And they're only plus three. These guys suck at fighting normally. This one with advantage. 18. Will not hit, but he's got advantage. Will not hit. Okay, this guy with advantage. Bonuses. It was here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got 18, 19, 20, 21 for six points of damage. As he's getting pelted, he's taking 15 points of damage for his ridiculous 43. That doesn't seem to affect him much. As he, you guys are getting slammed. 43? Dang. Yeah. He's a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> And we're going to go ahead, these little goblin bodies going to go 5, 10, because they're going to use their actions to move. 5, 10, 5, 10, and eh. I think our, our wizard's gonna like being surrounded. I think yeah. he had a plan for this. Yeah. 
Was that our table or their table? There. Okay, I'm like, did I hit something no, no, on the no, way yeah, back in my chair? He's uh, a wooden uh, dice. The dice tower. The tower. Okay, so then comes our cleric's turn. Is she going to save the day with some special magic? It's her turn. The funniest part's when her zombie goes running off with them. No, because I'm going to make my zombie stay right here. But you're casting turn dead. The area effect. Why do you think I'm having him stay right here? Why don't you tell him to walk a few feet down that way? Okay, so... He has a speed of 20. So I just have, I'm going around, the, I'm having him stay around the corner. Okay. So he's out of line of sight? She doesn't want us to kill him. Ooh. Turn undead. And what does that do? That... Da, 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 da. Each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. And if they fail? Uh, if they fail, they are turned for one minute or until they take damage. See, the best part is, look at the map. And what happens if they're turned? They run away in fear. Right? As yeah. far away as they, they have to run as far as they can. Four of them are going to run right towards your friends. I mean, they're going to keep running, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, as so... As long as they don't touch them. So this one... Ooh! A 17? Uh, is that against my... It's, it's, your, it's your spell DC, isn't it? 13. 15 points of damage from, from the Grand Melee, by the way. Three actually hits you out of the, out of the four. Believe it or not, the ones without combat advantage. <laughs> so my spell save DC uh -huh. is 13. Okay, so this guy makes his save. He's like, uh-uh, not happening. This guy does not make his save. So 5, 10, 15, 20. Then we have this guy. Do you take your deck of opportunity? Okay, I don't think so. This guy. 5, 10, 15, 20. This guy. Natural 20. He must want a piece of you. This guy. 15, so 14. Is that 13? 13. This guy. 5, 10, 15, 20. We're going to put him off to the side so we designate that he's running away. Then this guy, 19. This guy, 5, 10, 15, 20. Then we've got the goblin horde. This one, 15. This one, 4, 5, 10, 15. We're going to put them together. Then we got this guy. 5, 10, 15. This guy. Ooh, that's a 10. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. He's a brave little guy. This guy. A one. <laughs> yeah, bah, 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 bah. So we've cut them down in, by half. And then this one, which I believe is the last one. <coughs> Five, ten, fifteen. So pretty much this is the core group that you're left with. And we don't touch the others. Okay. That's the, the and you're and you're good? You have more movement left, don't you? If you wanted to move? Um <laughs> come on, give me a tech of opportunity. <laughs> no, but okay. Um, bonus action. I would like to uh, cast my spiritual weapon. Okay, so where are you putting your spiritual weapon? He will look like a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> right here in the mess of things. <clears throat> okay, target rich environment. Yeah. Okay, so when you and get to, don't you get to attack? I cast? can get to attack. <laughs> <laughs> now, which one would you like to attack? Neither one of those have been hit. Well, they're not scared of me, so... Mm -hmm. Obviously, oh, the... Uh, the loudest. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
There's some guy in a Harley running the AC up there. I will never complain about the AC at the other store ever again. At least it's just a soft rumble that can easily be edited out. Let's see, the creature within five feet, yes, I'm going to... Oh, he is easily. So number five? Yep, on your hit, target takes force damage. Let's see. Um, so 18? 18 will definitely hit. And then... 1d8. I love spiritual weapon. Not only does it fit with clerics perfectly, but it's it's a kick ass weapon. Yeah. Uh, it was part of a, a magic offense set of minis that I saw. I was like, oh, yeah, it's like, a, there's three different Ten weapons. Points yeah. Two points? Ten. Ten points of damage. As you just your 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 weapon goes it's and like divine, right? part of the jaw uh, falls is, off. Is, uh, force damage. Mm -hmm. And part of the jaw just like... <laughs> and there's this little tongue thing flapping. And then... You don't... You don't... You don't <laughs> and I have my, uh, my war hammer in hand. Mm -hmm. So... So you can decide to be less well, right? <laughs> uh, I think yeah, the, the turn on dead probably. Turn on dead was my the action. action. Which she presented her holy symbol, and they're like, oh shit. Some of them were, oh shit. The others were like, yeah, whatever. So, uh, top of the order. They weren't paying attention. <laughs> it's our paladin's turn. You are in a target rich environment, is what the saying goes. Okay. Certainly not. You're in the middle of shit. <laughs> I will Only cast a, a spell. Multi okay, what spell are you casting? Flaming Smite. Flaming Smite, okay. And that's a concentration spell, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's got to Okay. Does it sound dangerous? <laughs> and who is close? That, what is that directly in front of me? Is that a person or... That's your cleric right in front of you. Oh, yes. Hi! You can gladly cut her down and, now. And, and, <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> that's my spiritual <laughs> weapon, so... She yeah, the, the, the goblin is your spiritual okay. weapon. <laughs> okay, so the one next to her. Okay, the, the green one, number yeah. six. Okay. He looking healthy? He, he's looking fine. Thing? As a zombie hobgoblin that's got like a spear shoved into him and snapped off the base, he probably like gladly cut it off. And he's got the coolest helmet you've ever seen, by the way. Can I borrow a die? Huh? Can I borrow a die? What kind of die you want to borrow? 20. Let's use that one. I was a good one. So why are you rolling 220? Because I'll just cast some advantage. Oh, okay. Gladly get my good coins before they're stolen by rogues. Right, so what do you that was it. <laughs> I did it right in front of you. I know. That's how rogues do it. <laughs> Only the bad ones have to do it from behind. Uh, D4? You can borrow that and then we'll gladly put him back there. The magic missile D4. It's a good luck D4. Ooh, yes. See, it rolled four. Oh, wait, no. 23. You hit him and he explodes. He explodes. <laughs> okay, he explodes and. In the most uncanny way ever, the helmeted head bangs against the wall and hits the floor and kind of rolls <laughs> over towards you and kind of faces you in a Conan-esque way that this helmet you are drawn to. That's a hint. As you almost think you see flickering red flames in the eyes of this helmet. It looks, eyes are still it helmet. looks like a <laughs> goblin warlord would use this helmet. Jeez, if you don't take that. <laughs> Okay, you go with where you're standing? <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole other else I can do other than presenting an attack opportunity. Okay, so Ranger, mm -hmm. there are two zombies running past you going, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The other one's got I hands have, I, I have said they know no, in the past. <laughs> Not to yeah, the yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, away. I, th th this, this is almost a character kind of role. Okay, yeah. He, he kind of he, he goes better. You know, like, <laughs> he go with the plan or trip one for giggles. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, like get, lasso get the, with the rope and just hold on to the rope. <laughs> <laughs> My zombie's just kicking back against the wall, going, "Yeah, sooner or later she'll need me. Uh, she'll need that spiritual weapon. I'm, I'm good." What, enough. what are we gonna? I'm good enough. I'm, I'm right actually, right cause, cause, yeah, okay. all of these are viable yeah. targets. Oh yeah, no. I know. Um, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plink at the <laughs> wizard, die, <laughs> the wizard die, D4. The D4 one, okay. I was gonna say, excellent. Is it, is this he, is your chance to kill the wizard. Yeah. The bugbear wizard. Uh, do I have a combat advantage? You do not. Yeah. Okay. Shot goes. Well, what, what was your final roll? Well, the shot goes one wide. <laughs> what, what did you get? No, no well, it's, it's a one before bonuses. Oh, so you rolled a one? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It, it, went, it goes one wide, so. I'll let you. Okay, so you fire your arrow. I would have charged it up if you were going to hit something with it. <laughs> and as you fire your arrow, remember these zombies are running at you. Yeah, so and I. And you to... fired your arrow and hit this one. Go ahead okay. and roll me damage. Uh, two sixes plus four. Uh, uh, 16. 16? As you clearly hit this zombie in the chest, to the point of your arrow kind of popped out of him, and he's looking right at you. You have broken the fear out of his dead, glazed eyes. I, 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 roll, I rolled a one. You rolled a one. Okay, well, I have an one. It was either shoot the zombie or shoot his friend in the back. Good luck. <laughs> Or I, I, was cons- the- I was considering Hill of Thorns at one point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, no, no, there's... Because when there was like a nice little clump in the back that before before they fear, they all started running, it's like, here, I'll clump them if they need to. So that's going to bring us to our rogue. By the way, you clearly know this one has, has regained his composure right in front of the ranger. I know. Yeah. Because it's because he ran right in front of his shot. Yeah. It's, there's nothing worse than th- th- this, a game. This is, this is when you're playing, yeah, you're playing your team game and your, yeah. fr- your friend ran in front of your it's shot. It's like, dude, seriously. And that's why I think more games are oh, natural twenty. So which one are we shooting? The one that was attacking it. Okay. So twenty six. It's adjacent to your friend. So you tell me how your arrow kills it. Because I can guarantee with your dice pool. It takes him with it and sticks him to the wall. <laughs> Will you be able to do more than six points of damage? Statistically speaking, yes. <laughs> oh yes, I, I have to. Yeah, yeah. Let's just see how disgusting. Oh god! <laughs> oh. The best damage roll you've ever had. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. It and, like- and, and, is, is, and that's double da- du- double damage dice roll. So she gets to roll her another one d six. Oh, because both. I got the natural. Yeah. So one more d six. So one more d six. Okay. So how does it look when you pull your arrow out and just take the zombie apart? What does it look like? Describe it. Describe. Give us flavor text. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. This is. Uh... Okay, can, 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 like, you do it. For a she, she, no, second, its eyes focused on you. It, it, explo- it, it explodes almost as if it was hit by one of my my uh, force <laughs> arrows. I'm like, have you been sneaking the peaks at it's my just, technique? You're, you're it looking at it going your <laughs> deeper and explodes. You're it. looking well, at it going, oh yeah, shit, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, not yeah, good. Yeah. And uh, oops. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and I, just it, then. A, an arrow hits it from the side, yeah. and his head it, 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 starts yeah. shattering out, and then takes the rest of his body with him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I, it's I, horrible. I'm, I'm always, I'm always picturing whenever that you use the these like with my force arrows. I'm always picturing like whenever you see the slow mo replay of a bullet going through the ballistic gel and, and like like the ripple. Oh, yeah. like, like I'm, I'm, that's almost like what's coming off the arrow as it's even flying through the air is that the ripple ballistic effect. channel. Yeah, so so that's what I, that's what her arrow even does. So you go with where you're standing, by the way. Me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Any any bonus actions? Anything like that? Um, you feel really no. safe and confident? No, but I don't see any reason why my character would move. <laughs> okay. So that brings There's us no back to our fly. wizard. What was that? No yeah. Ah, uh, yes. No trees. You're now underground. The cl- closest thing to a tree is the zombies. Uh, he no, was no, pretty good. The closest thing we got is the That. Area here is considered that mud wall. Yep. 
You can't really stand on it. You can, yeah, you can walk into it. Especially since the zombies all plopped out of it. It's like oozing humanoid shapes in the ground, but there's a clear path you could step into it. I so mean, since I, I have a five foot reach, uh -huh. me stepping to here is not considered a disengage? Well, it will be with them. Remember, your disengage is when you're leaving their threat, not your threat. If you want to try that, two zombie goblins more than willing to reach after you. It'll be four of them at once, right? No, no. You're still within this guy's threat, so he can't. Only these two. That's her spiritual weapon. Okay. You're out of reach of this guy, so it'd be those two guys. So you're risking it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to just grab these two dice. And these two dice. So this one misses, and we have a 20. It'll hit you for four points. One of the two bastards reaches through and hits you in the back of the knee. You don't know quite which one, because it's these little goblin corpses. We all look the same. <laughs> Especially when they're all covered in tactical mud. Yes. No, that's not until, like, I think 18. Giggle snore! Or, no, 14. <laughs> I'm over here! I can do it! <laughs> this time! How can I? When, so you step it? back. And then I'm going to, uh... I was level 10 when I get, I get to do my credit and camouflage. Uh, I'm going to, uh... It's a non-concentration spell. Okay. So, I'm going to start making this... This... Sounds that, yeah, moving my hand like this. And as I'm doing this, this shimmering image begins to form like a mirror. Okay. And then I bring it up like this and I crunch it and I go like this. And then three other images are right behind. Next okay, year. multiple image. So, so you now have camouflage. Of, of I have three more of me. This hallway isn't big enough! I know! <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I have dinosaurs. <laughs> Too late. But that is my thing. So there are many, many bug bears. It's true, they like, do multiply. Yeah, I feel crowded. <laughs> and mechanically speaking, what advantage does that give you? So whenever, if they do hit me, I roll a d20 when I have three. The six or higher means it hits one. If they hit one and kill it, then an eight or higher, and then an eleven or higher, and then they're all gone. Okay. So, <laughs> it's just that she wants oh to steal God. the coins again. <laughs> I think they fit. They fit. They're no, least they don't. Make my ass look big. <laughs> so no, much better. It's this smaller. one is going to swing at you. This, this little red one here. Ooh, will an 18 hit you? You said he wasn't in range. Well, it's, now it's their turn, I think. This guy. Well, you moved him in. Well, he's on this side of the quarter. You can still reach. Goblins have five foot reach. Yeah, that would hit me with it. I have a 17. Okay, for two points of damage. So, six or higher, so one of them Boop. is going to... He hits that one. Because it's the nearest one to him. Yeah. So, number seven here is going to go ahead and hit our go after our cleric. Jerk! Will a mighty eight hit you? <laughs> oh, God, I have to look. Um, no. <laughs> This one is going to go after our cleric, mainly because your magic weapon gives up no life force, so... Ooh, will a 15 hit you? It does. For five points of damage. And then, then this one's going to go after our paladin. Will a 13 miss you horribly? No, it hits? Okay. <laughs> And this guy's going to move up. And he's going to aim for the bugbear. Let's see if one of your images gets in his way. Will a nine hit you? Okay, so. Five, ten, 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 twenty, run away! Five, ten, 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 run away! Go! Get to the trappers! Get to the choppers! 
Okay, so those all run away. You can clearly now see how the hallway is cleared out. You have only a few of them to deal with. I mean, it's only five of them. And you're cutting their numbers down quickly. You're super confident. And what's our cleric going to do? As you look in like, yeah, I did this. This is my house. How is everybody's health? Uh. He's taking some damage, he's taking some damage, you've taken some damage. Okay, so... None then, of the goblins are I mean, Oh, you mean the ranged it. people? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get any damage. Um, then I'm going to cast uh, Prayer of Healing. Ooh. Yeah, and you heal all, all of us. Okay, so how much do you heal them? Uh, let's see. <laughs> There it is. I'm like, I know it had two two days. Hold on. Yeah, I believe it does. Just making sure. This moment so, brought to you by Claire Keeling. Hey, your HMOs with your local church. Twelve points. Twelve. So every you three get twelve points back. So Dan, you're down to only minus three. I'm back up to full health. As you're just like, okay, bonus health. Let's do this. My mirror image comes back up. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's so good. She heals your holograms. <laughs> And are you good with where you're standing? And don't you have like a... Yeah, my spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon attack? I do. As a bonus action? I do. Which one would you go for? The red one or the blue one? Which one was I hitting last time? You, you were hitting the, the number five. Yeah, let's continue beating on number five there. Johnny five. Oh, come on. Uh, let's see. 18? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope you figured by now that AC is only eight. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> you would miss a barn before you miss a zombie. Yeah, because you had me write down my zombie stats. <laughs> yes, you you have the zombie stats. I do. The best part is you'll have one zombie somewhere running around over here, and when you walk around a corner, it's just gonna go Eleven. Walking Dead style out of nowhere. Eleven. Eleven. This zombie looks absolutely horrible. It's as if you only had one point left, as if one arm just dragging by sinew, the leg is destroyed. It's almost like I want to go up there and flick it. The head is like lobbing on just tendons, and it's looking forward just by swaying back and forth. Oh, why can't I just flick you? <laughs> okay, so top of the order. It's our paladin's turn. Um, I will swing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to step here. So, so step where? There. Okay, not provoking tag of opportunity. And I'm going to swing on the uh, magic red, the red one. Never thought. I thought you never. A words are hard. Words are hard. Good thing we established what that AC was, because that wasn't a great roll. No. Uh, six, seven points of damage. Okay. Oh, of course. Is it long like it's worth? As you come up That's and you just like chop. Oh god, it's a little brontosaurus. <laughs> That's my zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Brontosauruses aren't real. It's a brachiosaurus. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's still on its feet. It's, it's looking pretty pretty juicy still. It's like clumps of mud are coming out of the open rib cage you realized was open a second ago. It's still juicy. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to our ranger. Yeah. I'm looking at my quiver. I've got like four regular arrows left now. I've got 18 of the plus one arrows, but... You're, you're holding on to those. You're saving yeah. those from the special. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm going to switch to my uh, short sword. Okay. And I'm going to move up on to... Oh, TV! Yeah, yeah. 
charging up to help your paladin friend show yeah, him how to really put down a zombie? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... I don't, I don't get advantage, because... Or... Uh, can I stand there? Can I stand under the paladin's feet and get, get you combat? You can it? share a square with a medium-sized creature, so you can indeed, right. from his crotch, you stab at thee. Yes. <laughs> uh, that would be a twenty-four. That was it. This, this, this is this is a, but char- also charged up with. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna charge it up with. The, you put, with the, put your otherworldliness. Yeah. Your outlandishness. Uh, He's holding up. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn! I love that. <laughs> you as well have a zombie now that's just holding on by three sinews and a bunch of rotten bones. It's it, okay, I, I was, as you okay, come this, out of his crotch okay. and come straight up with your sword. Guts. Is it is it is it is it too late? Like like this is larger than me, right? It's a medium size. It's a medium sized creature. I, can I can I tack on Fury of the Small? What does Fury of the Small do? Uh, deal deal my level worth of extra damage to a foe that is a size larger than that is at least a size larger than me. And it doesn't say it requires an action, right? It's 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 part of yeah. Like I declare when when I hit. Yeah, when I you hit. Did it. So, so, you so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're the small, I'm like, I really want to make sure this zombie okay, is so, dead again. So you, you think so, he's so, alive? So I, I do, I do an extra four damage. And you flick valid. your blade in your hand, and it hits the spine, and yeah. it just kind of like. It also moves independently. <laughs> As you clearly show the paladin how to how to kill a zombie. As only I don't think the paladin's impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I you saw, think the paladin's it up. paying attention. He softened it up. To him killing with the uh, power of the small gets. I keep realizing I haven't been uh, taking advantage of that, and that's like, it's, it's yeah. So so yeah, and it's a short, it, it, it recess on a short rest. Fury of the midgets. It's it's it's. We, I we, have that in real yeah, life. Yeah, we, we got them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have it naturally. Okay, I, so I, I don't. That's, that's I why, call them tiny fists of rage. That, that's why. I, that's why it's, it's. I have to keep reminding myself. Oh. <laughs> So that's our ranger. You good with where you're standing? Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. No, that's pretty much. You have five foot step you could do. Yeah. Well, no, because I was like one, two. I know. I went. I only went fifteen to get here. I got. I got another fifteen to go. But it really isn't. It's like he was holding. It was actually holding on to I, me. I made it through that. Okay. <laughs> it was like. It was like holding. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, like. I, I'm not going to try to squeeze through people's legs just yet. You so. mean any others? Yeah, I'm going to get there. It's going to stay there. Okay. So that brings us up to our row. Um, who's been all adorable in the back there? Is a little triceratops. A little try the good. Um, I still have my. Spider boots, right? Yeah. Then I'm going to walk up the wall. Okay, so 10 feet of movement to get up the wall. And then on the ceiling, over to the Another 5 foot of movement? Over to the fight. Okay, so you've used 15 foot of your movement, so 15, 20, 25? 30, I have. 30? Yeah. Okay, so you're right okay. there, upside down? Here, up, so I can see where I am. All right, so... Here, you put yourself oh, on that desk. That's cool. <laughs> um, and then... And, 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 oh, there you go. And then upside down, I want to shoot. Two different targets. Okay. I could do a third. And number five. five. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Number so, five, who's barely so, alive. Yeah, like this would just be like... Oh, bam, I... Yeah, bam, bam, bam. It is the, the closest one, though. It is the closest one. Might as well. Um, I hit. That will hit. <laughs> um, and you do have an ally adjacent... Trust me, your cleric would really like you to clear that one out. <laughs> and the zombie explodes when your arrow hits. The head shatters, splattering your cleric with zombie gore. Some fresh teeth land at her feet. Oh, Anything for your bonus action? Um, no. Okay, as you're upside down on the ceiling with your bow upside down. Hee hee! Just being awesome. Spider God. Spider God. Does whatever a spider God can. 
<laughs> spider uh, rogue. Spider rogue. Okay. Yeah. Spider rogue. It goes with the giggle snort. <laughs> spider snort. Spider snort. <laughs> Does what a giggle snort can. So what's our wizard do? Um, you started yes. a lot of shit, and things have worked out quite well. There's four of them there, right? Yep. There's the two in front of you and the two to the side of you. And then de- both both ways of the hallway, you're hearing these bodies bumping into each other in the walls, trying to get over each other. <laughs> and well, then it's like a jet engine. Yeah, you know? that was horrible. <laughs> Sounds like Lobo's bike would sound. I'm debating on burning hands or. You're in a target-rich environment. Man. Yeah, I'm going to cast Burning Hands. And most of them are untouched. So the four of them there need to make a uh, DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Oh, sweet Jesus. You found their double stack. So this is going to be number seven. Ooh. Will a 13 beat your DC? Meter beat, so it's 13. Oh, my God. Number seven is half damage. Number five. Does not. Then the first red one gets a eight. Then the second red one gets a unnatural one. So, so the one right in front of you, oh, zombie matrix. So I got fifteen points if they if they didn't save, and so that'd be seven if they save. Okay, so basically all of them except the guy right in front of you did this. He, he was in that little vortex cone at the beginning that she gets kissed. Right. While the rest got bathed in the fire. And they're all, all smoking and they smell absolutely horrible. As the smoke coming off them is just this black tar smoke sticking to the ceiling. You thought they smelled bad before they're inside the mud. On fire, so much worse. Right. So would you are you good with where you're standing? Yeah. You don't want to give me like three attacks of opportunity? You got mirror image, still run with you. No. Okay. So it is now the zombies turn. Zombie zombie zombie. So Zombies say eat Solomon Zombie Goblin will not hit you with six. Then this one, ooh, 22. All right, that hit me. Or two points of damage. That was quick. That was very slick. Kudos for that. And number seven is going to go after our cleric. Ooh, with a 19. For four points of damage. And that's like all my zombies. Where the hell are all my zombies? Oh no, we got number five. Number five still alive? Number no, no, number, number five, five is, is dead. dead. <laughs> that's I hit it with 17 forward. points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't take him off the map. I'm not the DM. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the stone statues all come alive and come running. <laughs> <laughs> and Ashley died. I don't know what happened. <laughs> ashes to Ashley. Oh. Ashes oh. to Ashes. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's our cleric's turn. (laughs) (laughs) As the cleric does the sweet, cute yawn after her turn day. Oh, I guess I'll. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) And now the yawn has gone contagious. I am super. I I catch the yawns so easily. (laughs) You try it. Try not to. He's <laughs> losing the fight. He's lost the fight. <laughs> no, I, no, I managed to avoid him. Actually, go to the corner. <laughs> no, right. Nobody puts the, the rogue in the corner. I am going um, to. I might put myself in the corner. <laughs> that might be a good place to be. I'm going to attack. Number seven? Number the seven. one that avoided most of that fiery death? With, with my. With my Warhammer. Oh, she's 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 saying hammer time, swinging her Warhammer. So let's see here, and then. Oh, that makes sense. 
Which I mean, that dice would be perfect for the Conan system. Yeah, you, the low <laughs> the low balls that you want to hit. Right? No, I only got five. What game are you playing? I'm just kidding. Now, uh, don't Listen forget, you. you do have a bonus action. I do have a bonus action. You do have a bonus action. action. Would you like to move your hammer in position? Yes. And, and hammer is also. What about your zombie? Can't that exactly? Oh, he's just chilling. She's saving him. Because, yeah, the whole turn. Um, 19. Gonna... 19 That's will hit. Turn. Yeah, 19 will hit. Number 7. And don't forget, doesn't uh, your hammer get advantage because you got a buddy there? Yeah, so roll the d20 again to see if you crit. Oh! I did. <laughs> see, he used his GM powers to make the dice give you the number he said. Uh, so you have a natural 20, so that's 2d8. Oh, dear lord. All right. See, the tactical maneuvers work. Yeah. They're far better than tactical movements, which are usually just number two. Nine positive. So how much? Nine. Nine? Okay. Oh, yeah, just nine. Yeah. That can leave imprints in the horse when <laughs> So your hammer comes to the back of his head, just cracks his skull, and it's horrible. You see it's kind of delightful. To everyone else, it's horrible that it just bashes in the skull, and like mud oozes out the eye sockets. Oh, we gotta do that again. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> Hammer at home a little bit more. It almost looks like shit. So it's our paladin's yeah. turn. So I can travel through the spot where the uh, sword is, right? You, yeah, it's, it's a friendly I'm target. I'm my hand, my uh, spiritual weapon down. Nice. So you can go through any allied square. I, I pretty much just like. <laughs> so, so what are you gonna do? I'm going to cast a spell. What spell are you casting? <laughs> armor of a goddess. Oh, oh you're just the like, armor. Yes. <laughs> and then I will move. Now, if you move past that square, you'll get number seven and attack a lot Well, that's kind of the goal. Oh, you're hoping to get hit? <laughs> I should. At this point, I should give all of them an attack a lot <laughs> You want me to. No, 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 two reds wouldn't get one with that step. One across. One across. Oh. Oh. Okay, so number seven, lucky number seven, is going to swing on you with a mighty uh, eight points to hit you. Misses by a mile. Then the first red one rolls a 13. And the second red one rolls, hey, a dirty 20. Okay. Or seven points of damage. What does your armor do? It gives him takes five points of full damage. Okay. You did four points. Ah ha ha, I see what you did. Yeah. You took six point seven points of damage for his five points of cold damage. Okay. He's got points to spare. He's got points to spare. He's helped. I hate to be Debbie Downer, but the strip was in September. Okay. I've almost killed them all. Yep. We should be done in about 20. We almost killed the <laughs> <laughs> Quick, somebody go up front and run up some more orders. Keep her busy. Okay. So. And that'll do it because that was my action that might. Okay. So it's our ranger's turn. Your paladin shield has stepped over you and walked yes. away. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Paladin's I'm gonna. I'm, the paladin. So, 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 so away. <laughs> who's been who's been smacked up a bunch and who's all? Is this seven? one took a bunch of fire damage. These two took a hell of a lot of fire damage. This one also took cold damage. So this one looks like he's almost so it's dead. Very and, and number seven <laughs> took uh, yeah, hammer damage. Yeah, yeah, hammer damage. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not going to charge my my, my blade. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and at this point I'm gonna stop, go up there and try to stab it with my stabby sword. Okay. Stabby, stabby, stabby. The best kind of sword. Uh, eleven. A level oh, right. hit. That's it's right. a zombie. That's right. Yeah, it's like, I like eights. despair. It's like, oh, that's right. Um, stabby sword does five points of damage. Five points of damage for the stabby sword. Plus your rate. The... No, that, that's a, that's a one. That's a one time. Okay. That's it's, it, it. I got to charge on the rest. Okay. So. And it is like barely. It's, awful. it's barely alive. It's doing this weird bat ballerina thing. All right. Never, All right. Uh, b- bonus action. My my second sword. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't. Yep. Yeah. That's why I didn't charge. Natural twenty. 
And describe how you <laughs> murderize that last coin of your coins it has left. <laughs> <laughs> it was hanging out I, 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 Yeah, I find it like the, the, the one of the, the gaps in his vertebrae. And it just, I just come through and it's... And then just like... And just collapses like head and feet to the ground in front of you at the same time. Yeah. And splatter. It's only a walking dead zombie. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah. I look at him and go, I was waiting to see what happened when my hammer hit it in the head again. <laughs> you, 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 you loosened the jar. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping okay. to kill, the, kill it with the so one that hit and time. then be able to run up and get another one with my off. From up in the ceiling. Spider guy. Spider And uh, get the one that's closest. And it's funny because they're, they're little three foot goblins and she's on the ten foot ceiling. I like to think of a joke about a feeling when I'm dancing on the uh, ceiling. Oh. And she's just like. <laughs> that is not a hit. That's a six. Well, she's also dropping all the coin and loot out of her. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'm a liar. I'm a liar. It's an eight. Is it an eight? It's an eight. How's it an eight? Let's see. Okay. If the paper said so. <laughs> then uh, eight is what you need to hit. So awesome. roll for damage. And I still get my extras, yeah? Do you have an ally adjacent? I do. Yes, you do. Uh, Nine. So what does it look like when you draw this arrow into his head from above? I'm going to leave that to the person who's really good at describing Okay, so our goblin <laughs> kind of patters across the ceiling and it's super creepy the way she's doing it giggling. She pulls the bow like this and you just see the arrow hit the goblin's head and kind of poke out between the zombie legs with the fletching still on the head as it just like and just falls over. Hi guys! I'm looking at your shirt and I'm just thinking, like, he forgot his zombie hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, we joked about it because we the hard hats are actually just canvas that you can laugh at. Yeah. That was in the Victorian era, what's considered a safety hard hat. Mm-hmm. That you could hit with a small hammer and shatter. How safe did that keep the miners? Mm-hmm. It's really meant to just keep the dirt out of your face. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. <laughs> so that was our rogue. That brings us up to our wizard. One well, there's. Uh, there's one left. There's one left. And this time I can send my bird over because <laughs> the owl has the ability to, it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity when it flies out of an enemy's reach, so it could fly in, threaten, and then come in. It can do one point of damage if it attacks, but I don't think that's a good idea because... You, you do far more. Yeah. As it's behind the goblin, pulling on its ears, and you're just like... <laughs> Pulls off. Yeah, yeah. So I got a 24 to hit. That will kind of hit. And uh, 9. I'll tell you, describe how it happened, because you only had two hit points left. So I would imagine with this blade, he's uh, he had just watched uh, the two goblins take out those two, so he had to do it up big. And his big monkey arm came up, and he just... <laughs> went down low, put his hip like into it, and basically just drove into it right above its hip. Just disemboweled it as the thing just collapses over it. Yeah. Just sprays across the room, missing the goblin in the ceiling. Right? But spraying um, the spiritual weapon. <laughs> right? So, oddly enough, as the last zombie hits the ground, it's almost a good time to wrap it up there, apparently. Pretty well timed, actually. You our paladin. Now, of course, anyone can have this, but our paladin wants to reach out and pick up that helm. The paladin will pick up the yeah. As you pick up this helmet and the, the hobgoblin warrior old, his head slithers out of the helmet and thuds on the ground. <laughs> Slither. With a cantaloupe, clunky crack sound. You just see the magical helmet. Rose, red, eye socket. Now this could be some vile cursed item, or it could be a magical item. You gotta remember you have a zombie. Yeah. Do you Put it on your head and let's Do you find out. Get a spear. So you have spear magic. You want to test it or? Yeah, test it. I'm pretty sure it's magic. Well, we know it's magic. <laughs> Or that's at least press the digitation. Thank you for watching my friend. Sure. Yeah. 
Because see, I was just lucky this morning that in the car, since we got back from Disney, all of the DVD books were in the car. That's cool. We took them to Disney with us. Yeah. Everything I don't have on me was not put in the car. <laughs> that was all left at home. We did not make it to Disney. So you actually, if you look around, you find some old minted coins, and you also get about 46 gold coins. Ooh, right. That seem to have not rotted like these horrible copper coins that look all nasty and rotted to little like bits of metal. Well, then all the coins fell out of your belt. Yeah. Where do you think those 46 gold coins are from? <laughs> I recover half my two arrows. And you guys notice that this is just like a, a hodgepodge mash of, of elf warriors, goblin type warriors, and, and it seems that someone must have used some kind of foul magic to uh, murder them in mass, possibly you know friendly fire on their own people, and then use the mud as a weapon itself to clear the, the corridor. Wow. I'm basically uh, picturing uh, the parting and, of the Red Sea. And are you guys going to take a short rest? Yes. yes. Okay, so you guys pull back to a safe spot. Someone in the darkness dispatches that lone evil zombie that went this direction. <laughs> Someone puts it down. And our wizard wants to look at the uh, magic items on the scene. Identify, yeah. Yeah. So you cast your ritual identify. And you find out that the helmet is a dread helm from Xenathar's. Uh, okay. So it's just a few cool effects. It has evil. Oh, those are mine? Oh, yes, they are. And the bracer is the, the bracelet is a bracelet of earth magic. Ooh. What, what is that? <laughs> That'd, be good for you. That'd be good for you. Okay, I, yeah, I guess I. I was not aware of what, what that does. Oh, do right? That's also a Xanathar? Okay. Uh, that is actually... Or is that standard? I figured this. But I have decided, Jim, we need a ring of regeneration because I need one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to solve all our problems. Because if the wizard can stay alive... <laughs> so a bra bracelet of earth hat, I guess the helm for yep. you? Huh? The helmet's yours? It's basically a cool visual. Yeah. I'll, I'll shoot you the stats. I used to think <laughs> my intimidation is the first attack. <laughs> it's, okay, what I'm saying is a smite plus for right. the horde. And, it's amazing how bad cell reception is here. It's, it's, it's like this room, and like there are, there are nice little pockets. This is building, yeah. yeah. So I will text you the, okay. the bracelet, okay. but I'll give the brief description that is while you wear this gold bracelet, it grants you immunity to being petrified. Oh, yes, that is nice. useful. Let's go hunt some basilisks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I and it back. allows you to cast Flesh to stone, save DC 15 as an action. Ooh. Once this spell has been cast three times, the bracelet can no longer cast it. Therefore, you can cast stone shape as an action. After you've done this 13 times, the bracelet also loses its magic. So okay. And turns from gold to lead. So use it sparingly. Yes. So you could go up and go, petrify! Yeah. But you like... I have have nope. But now all of a sudden our mighty ranger will become the great basilisk hunter. Yeah. He'll be like, I'm gonna go melee basilisks for funsies. Because it's almost like it belonged to whoever the alchemist was that was making the statues. Yeah, that I was kind of piecing that bit together. And he almost used it entirely up, and that's all that's left. <laughs> Just those those three last charges of this ancient lost man. Does anyone want a fortune rookie? But you should read your fortune. It's important. Oh, wait. Did you hear what mine was? No. You were a thoughtful and considerate person. Aww. <laughs> so my I, I finished is... off this one. So I'm gonna throw it away oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> it's because you rogued underneath me. You got it. No, no, this time it was just right in front of your face. 
I used it to take my money. So my fortune is take time to enjoy the fruits of your labors. And that's a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening. Hello, this is Eric. And Wendy Strzok with Stone Valley Hobby and Games. We sell board games, card games, role-playing games, and supplies. We have thousands of Magic the Gathering cards available, carry Kickstarter products, and work with veteran-owned small businesses to bring you our own line of products. We are a small business retailer, but we offer competitive prices, a loyalty system, and free shipping on orders over $100. As a military veteran myself, I'm a strong supporter of our armed forces, their families, and contractors out there doing the hard job. So any order from AA, AE, or EP address will be shipped absolutely free. Remember, StoneValleyGames.com, where we take your leisure seriously. So my fortune is take time to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Between the sheets. In bed. There you go. I, I personally have always enjoyed like between the sheets because it sounds a little uh, a little more like poetically. <laughs> oh, you didn't even know. <laughs> well, that you said I had to, to do it before I could give it away. Yes, I can open a fortune cookie, but not the package. <laughs>